Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update brought to you by Pepperstone on Friday the 20th of July 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's look for overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. Uh, and first of all, we'll start with Euro Dollar. We haven't mentioned uh, this uh, major uh, in a while, but uh, the euro pushing back against the US dollar yesterday, adding 0.2% to trade at 116.6380 shortly before recording the video. Uh, I wonder if that's uh, the start of uh, a rebound from uh, the European currency. And of course, we have an ECB meeting next week to look forward to. Um, not the only currency on the move, however, against the US dollar, both uh, the Australian and New Zealand dollars pushing back once more against uh, their US counterpart and adding 0.1 and 0.7% respectively overnight. Dollar index for its part uh, trading 95.03 shortly before we, uh, we went live with the video, down around 0.13% on the day, but still above that key 95 level, or key level at least as we see it, from nothing, if nothing more than a psychological uh, input. Right. Let's now look at what's on the calendar and events that may move the markets today. A pretty compact calendar. Uh, ignore this mention of an OPEC meeting. I don't think that's correct. It certainly isn't a major meeting as far as I'm aware. We've already had uh, Japan All Industry Activity Index uh, data out for the month of May. Um, a slight improvement on consensus forecast there. And to come at 8.30, the first of the day's key uh, data points, if I can put it like that, UK public sector net borrowing requirement for June, um, a window on the UK's public finances uh, over uh, the start of the summer. And then we fast forward to 12.30 for a raft of data out of Canada. Uh, we have retail sales, first of all, uh, for the month of May, and that's accompanied by CPI measures for the month of June, and also the Bank of Canada's own Consumer Price Index core measures of inflation for June as well. That's month on month and year on year data. So a real insight there into the state of play in the Canadian economy and perhaps a guide as to whether or not the Bank of Canada can move on rates again later this year. To finish the day, as far as most of the market's concerned, the Baker Hughes US oil recount out of the USA around 1700 GMT this evening. Of course, this is an influential number and always has a bearing on people's outlook and sentiment as far as US oil production and oil prices are concerned. Right then, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight. First of all, the Hong Kong 50 index has fallen to a 10-month low at the same time as the Chinese Yuan slipped back below 680 to the US dollar, its lowest level for 12 months. So Asian markets still um, moving and moving adversely on a cocktail of uh, concerns about uh, trade wars and relations with uh, the US. Uh, meanwhile, President Trump has put his head in the lion's mouth, metaphorically speaking, and has invited uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin to visit Washington. Uh, one can only imagine uh, the furore that that news created there. Uh, staying in the Americas but moving south, Brazilian business confidence has improved in July after three months of decline and the read of 50.2% took the index back into positive territory, if only just. So s signs of, a, of green shoots of, uh, of confidence building again in the Brazilian economy, perhaps, uh, but it will take obviously more than one reading um, to, uh, to persuade the market that everything's fine again in Brazil. Right then, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. Uh, this is one of the reasons why uh, people are concerned about Brazil, uh, commodities. Commodities remain under pressure and uh, not just because of a strong US dollar, as we can see. And here is a chart of the CRB index, a basket of uh, widely traded and consumed commodities against the US dollar index. And as we can see, uh, in the earlier part of the year, as dollar index in green was rising, so were uh, commodity prices as measured by the CRB index. Now, that all changed uh, at the beginning of June. Yes, the dollar continued to appreciate, but uh, commodities have sold off and sold off way beyond what they should have done. And I think we can attribute that sell-off about the concerns uh, around global growth and uh, the potential for an escalation in the trade wars. The CRB index has found a bit of support uh, uh, in the last couple of sessions, and yet the trend still looks uh, you know, very firmly downward overall. So um, it would be interesting to see how 
uh, commodity prices pan out, particularly if the dollar does fall back below 95, as, as measured by dollar index, which of course doesn't look unlikely given its uh, its retreat in the last couple of days. Please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of leverage products for you, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative. Thank you for your time.